today we're going to have a look at um, some fun things to do with Multigo, kind of give you guys an idea of um, a concrete example of how you'd use the tool and what you can do with it. So we're going to look at uh, some of Google's infrastructure today, just because they're a nice multinational and they separate nicely on IP addresses. And you can kind of see, okay, where, where you'd use the tool. Okay, so first thing we do is just start up the tool. Um, you'll notice that it's kind of like an empty canvas at this stage. So you want to just click on the top left, uh, there's like a plus icon. Uh, you can just click on that or control T will start a new graph. And then once you have a new graph, you'll see the whole thing kind of comes, comes to life. Um, as we discussed yesterday, so within Multigo you've got a whole bunch of entities. Uh, these are basically bits of information and then you've got transforms. So these are things that take one type of information to another. So this is something like taking a uh, domain and looking to see if it's got uh, a website, well just a, a www dot um, host and then you can do something like okay take those uh, websites and take them to IP addresses. So we're going to do that with Google today. We're just going to go and identify like a whole bunch of TLDs. So CLZA, uh, .com, .com .au, um, and then have a look at the IP addresses for those websites. And then we'll be able to differentiate kind of which ones are different. And then you can start playing around and being like, okay, well, why are these different? And why would I be interested in them? Okay, so one of the first things is to just change the slider. So that's at the top left. That determines the number of results that you're going to get back from a specific transform. So the first notch is 12, then 50, then 255, uh, and then 10,000. So we're not, we don't want that many nodes on our graph today. And often I find if you have sort of 10,000 nodes on the graph, it's really difficult to get intelligence from it just because there's so much on the graph. Um, so as I said on the left are all your uh, different bits of information. And obviously we're going to start with the domain. But you can see there's a whole bunch like IP address, uh, person, website, things like that. So depending on what you have is, is what you'll run. Okay, so do you, to start with a, with a bit of information, you're basically going to click on the entity and drag it onto your graph. Uh, once you've dragged it, you can just let go and it'll be sitting on your graph. And then to change this, you can just double click on it and you'll see it comes up with a nice little wizard. So we're going to run, we're going to use google.com. So that's our, our starting point. Now to run these transforms or bits of code that take uh, one type of information to another, you can just select your entity. You can either select uh, by clicking on it or you can drag a box around it. Um, of course, dragging a box, you can select multiple entities. And then to run transforms, once it's selected, you can right click on the entity, run transform, and all transforms show you all the available transforms. Uh, it's important to know that there's a whole lot of really specific transforms that are run, so they're designed to do a specific task. Um, so it's important not to run all transforms. It's something we kind of get frustrated with at the office, um, is that someone will sort of take an entity, run all transforms, but then they won't have context in what they've done. So they won't know how they got to these results, and they'll start making assumptions. Um, and so the idea with the tool is really to know what you're doing, know what each transform does, and kind of pick the ones that you're looking for. So at this stage, um, I've put my slide on 255, so that's a third notch, and I'm going to run the transform that's uh, to domain, find other TLDs. So this is going to look if there's a google.com, uh, .com my, cl.za, org.za, au, a whole bunch of them, and it's going to go through them and just return me those. So I'm going to run that, and once you're running a transform, you'll see that it's there's a little progress bar at the uh, bottom right, and there we go, there's all our different uh, TLDs that it's found. So there's a BE, net, or AU, CA, a whole bunch of things. Uh, to navigate within the client, you can zoom in and out uh, with scroll wheel, and then to move around the graph, you just hold down a uh, right mouse button, and you can move around the graph. So zooming in, scrolling in, zooming out, scrolling out, and moving as I hold down right mouse button, and I move around. Okay, so now I've got all these uh, TLDs, or uh, well, all these domains, what I want to do is I want to select them all, so I drag a box around them, I'm going to right click on one of them, and from here I'm going to say, okay, well, I'm going to look up the website. So I'm going to use the website Quick Looker. Um, if at any stage you don't know what a transform does, you can basically go over it and there'll be a little description uh, as, a, as a mouse over, or you can click on the blue eye icon, and that'll take you to a website to really explain what it does and where you can use it. Uh, so for this one, we're going to do two website Quick Looker, 
So it's just going to see if there's a www entry for that specific domain. And if it is, it's just going to return it out to us. So I'm going to run that. And most of these should, at this stage, have uh, www entries. It is Google. So I'm going to just zoom out a bit. You'll notice that if you zoom out further, um, you get kind of a, an iconic view of it. And you'll see there's a small legend at the uh, bottom right of the, of the graph window. It just shows you what each entity type is. So remember, we started with a domain, and now we've got a whole bunch of websites. So from here, I'm going to select all of my websites. Because remember, we're trying to identify the IP addresses for the infrastructure so that we can see which ones don't match, um, because those would be more interesting to us. Um, alternatively, you could also look at which ones match and then um, you know, kind of correlate which websites sit together. Okay, so now we've got all of these. I'm going to select them again, so I just drag a box around all the websites. Uh, I'm going to hold down shift and select that last one. And now I'm going to right click on it, click on all transforms, and I'm going to say to IP address DNS. It's about in the middle, and this is really just going to resolve um, the website to an IP address, the same as you would in a Unix terminal or anything else. It's important to know about Multigo is that the transforms aren't magic, um, there's something you can do, and the real power in Multigo comes in when you run a whole lot of them and you look at how things link together. I mean, Multigo does data mining, but its real power is uh, link analysis. So now I'm going to run two IP address DNS. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. And now you're going to see that they're going to start coming out into IP addresses. And already if I zoom in on these, you can see like there's a whole bunch of these uh, individual websites linking into these four IP addresses. So these are the ones that you can see from our server. Um, and then you start noticing that there's a couple of others that don't kind of match up to the same pattern that we've seen uh, within the other Google infrastructure. Um, just going to zoom in on these. And you're going to see these are org.za, net.au, cn, and hk. So these are interesting for us because these obviously don't sit in the same, uh, you know, in the same pattern as the rest. One of the things I can also do is I can switch the graph mode. So I can switch to dynamic view, uh, which will just, which is nice for when you're running transforms and you can see them coming out. Also nice for looking at the pattern. So here you can see, okay, well, all of these, kind of here in the in the middle, are linking to these blue IP addresses here whereas these are separate ones. So these are the ones that are interesting. Um, then you can also switch it to edge weighted view, which is gonna show different sizes of entities based on how many links they've got. So you can see these are massive because there's a whole bunch of things linking to them, whereas these are very small because there's only one or, you know, there's, there's only a one-to-one -one link. Okay, so I think that kind of clears up uh, a little introduction to how to use the tool running a transfer and then having a look at your results and being able to determine what you want to do with it. So being able to look at patterns um, and find interesting data.